conducts a public lecture and colloquium to celebrate the 80th birthday of elder statesman and Imo Bon politician, Emmanuel Iwayang. <laughs> The event, tagged Igbo Quest for Nigeria's Unity, brings together eminent Nigerians from all parts of the country. Former President Goodluck Jonathan is the chairman of the occasion, and his speech focuses on the need for Nigerians to de-emphasize issues of ethnicity and religion, especially as the 2023 general elections draw closer. My appeal to all Nigerians is to de-emphasize our differences and focus on the issues that bind us as the people. Luckily, we are in an election cycle. So my challenge to the young people, because the youth are more, is to take charge of their future by electing those who believe in our unity and will promote peace and progress. The guest lecturer, former President General of the Ohanis Indigo, John Wodo, affirms that restructuring remains the best solution to Nigeria's myriad of challenges. Our youths are angry, justifiably so, and pass a vote of no confidence on us, their fathers. Day after day, the likes of Iwayan will negotiate with them, pacify them, and plead for their patience for Nigeria to be restructured or an Igbo president to emerge so that our problems can have a listening ear. For the guest speaker, Governor Hope Uzodima, the Igbo must reclaim their rightful place in Nigeria by leveraging on their geographical spread and talents. As we ponder on the Igbo question, let me make it clear. We should take opportunities of the vast space called Nigeria, given our geographical spread, to unleash our God-given talents for the attainment of our goals. The celebrant, Chief Manuel Wanyahu, says the lecture reflects the nation's present realities, especially the perceived marginalization of the Igbo nation. When a young man is told that because he's an Igbo man, that he can never be voted in the country, I think it's unfair. That is why I think this lecture John Moore will deliver today will be the beginning of very discourse. The event, organized by the Emo State Correspondents Chapel of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, was aimed at X-raying some issues affecting the nation and how best to tackle the challenges.